uh, good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, welcome everybody to Bio Talk. What is it? Two hundred and twenty-six. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bino did some things over the week, which is always good. Uh, I'll get some shilling out of the way. Uh, link for uh, Skinny Plays in the description. Uh, use the link and use the promo code to get 10% off if you buy one thing and you can choose to use either mine or the one from Skinny Play to get 10% off of two products too, whatever you want. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Super Chats guarantee you an answer for to your topic and or question as long as you <coughs> can answer it. And uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, how's everybody doing? How have you been, Henrik? <laughs> Uh, I've been good, uh, very busy, but good. I mean, uh, we're doing a lot of stuff at the company at the moment. Uh, so, uh, that takes up an awful lot of time, which means that I don't have so much time to myself, which is not good, but I mean, everything's been good. Um, can't complain. Sweet. Sorry. I do, gonna, oh, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I have one complaint. Sorry. Go for it. My amp in the hallway is about to die because every time I join my Celestials, yeah. then after a few seconds, it sounds like everything is just scratching and yeah, that's kind of suck. But I think it happened when I, uh, I was playing some loud music at the facility here yeah, and uh, it was about... 35 Celsius outside, which means it was about 45 Celsius inside and maybe 60 Celsius where the amp is. Probably more. Uh, probably more, yep. So it, I think that I uh, I killed it. So I have to find a new amp. Cooked it hard. Well, I, I don't really need to find a new amp because the amp has lifetime warranty. So I just have to take some some plates down from the ceiling, take the amp out and just go deliver it and swap it for a new one. Wait, is so. that standard B and O warranty that it's lifetime? I don't use B and O. Oh, it's not it's... B and O. Yeah. I use Adlona. Oh, oh a... Adlona has ten year warranty, yeah. Yep. Which is basically lifetime. Yep. Of a product. Really? Interesting. I didn't know. Yeah. That. Adlona is a, a a big partner of Bang and Olufsen. And yes. They started out with the uh, providing B and O with the HDMI matrix, uh, an 8.8 .8 matrix. So you can actually, do you remember in the BV11 where you can actually go down to the menu and says HDMI matrix, and you have to put in a, a code to activate it. That means that you can through IR actually activate. So I want input number six from the Adlona distributor into output four or something. And you can use that on all the TVs in in in, in your facility. So yeah, that's... but with BV11, that was the first time that it was for free. Before that, on nope. the BIOS system. No, no, free. no, no, no. It was not free on the 11. Yeah, it wasn't here. Nope. We ne we never paid for it. We only had to pay for the BIOS system three licenses, and no, that was 700 not, that, US dollars. That's not true. It it was with the V1. It was uh, available for free. But V1. Not with the 11. The V1 was free. And forward from the V1. You sure? Yes. I, I mean, I was the distributor of Adlona. And, but and it's the same stuff. platform, though. So then yes, that had I to. Know. But people got furious when they had to pay for a license for a TV that was like pretty pricey to begin with. Well, Adlona's not cheap either. Like that's yep. going to cost you fucking 10,000 euros easy if you're not going to go 8 by 8 matrix. Yep. So that was, if, if you had like three. Uh, different uh, Kaleidoscape players you had and a few set-top boxes, a DVD player and so on, then you can use all the sources throughout your house. So Henrik, just I, ha I have a 4x4. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will come back to the subject of matrices ah, nice. <laughs> in the next two hours, trust me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so that's why in... Uh... In this room, there's only the TV, and in my bedroom, there's only the other BV. Everything, all the equipment's in my office. Fire Matrix. Including, yeah, yeah, yeah. Including the PS5, right? Yeah, nice. <coughs> That's pretty cool. So the 4x4, then you don't, you're not able to do 4K 120, right? 
I well, I've only got the. Uh, I'm not UHD at the moment with my oh, okay. 12 and. Well, then it makes sense. But again, we will come back to the subject in the, <laughs> in the next hour as we are in potential upgrade territory. Wow. Well, I'm waiting for the theater to show up in the store here. Uh, yeah, about a month away or so. Mm hmm. That thing is more and more I read about it. It's it's insane. What's going to be? It's insane. I have one question. Can we you finally have Atmos. <laughs> Can you mm -hmm. zoom into the picture, Mikey? Yeah, where? I want you to zoom in where the 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 Ethernet is. The corner of the screen. Where the how, plugs are? How far? Apparently More. it zooms all the way. <laughs> I want it in the left side where exactly right there. Why is it larger at the uh not not that I want the TV for Christ's sake. <laughs> why why is the gap larger on the left side compared to the screen, but on the 55 and the 65 inch, it's not. I think this panel sits a little bit behind. But it, it, it gaps about half a there's, centimeter on each yeah, side there is a five on the 77, gap. but not on the others. Uh, maybe they set it up hastily or something, because uh, supposedly in the vase amount, you can like move stuff up and down a bit. I see the pictures I've seen, not only from, from this place, but all the other pictures I've seen has the same problem with the 77. I'm not saying there is a problem, but it but just... Yeah, this is a 65, so... Oh, I've only seen on 77. I've seen a couple of pictures here and there, and I think even with a 55, it's less noticeable, but a tiny mismatch, right? Mm. I did see a video, which I shouldn't have, of um, the whole mounting, fixing mechanism. I think there's some adjustment capacity in there a little bit. So this may be just quickly, hastily done, right? Maybe. Uh, Saeed has a question. I'm wondering what to set the rest of the theater speakers to after I connect my BioLab speakers. Just center? Well, it depends on how many speakers you have, really. Uh, if you have a, a lot of them like mine, then just center, but you could potentially use the side and up firing as a uh, surround front height. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you I mean, but if you have four speakers, then you can set them either to wide uh, and have the theater do the front. Uh, this one of the sales pitches B&O had with this is to me, one of the strangest things ever, because it sounds like underselling because it's potentially so good. They basically said that if you have 28s, move them rear and just let the theater do the front, and you basically have a full on system. I mean, that's what they that's, say, but. That's maybe in a perfect the, scenario that, in, a, in a room. The dealers, that's what they told the dealers, right? They said recommended setup in your store is theater front on the stand, right? What they call the TV experience, right? And then 28s at the back. So they're recommending dealers set it up like that and sell that as a that'll get you home cinema. My problem is that um, I, I was invited to see it. I didn't have the time. Uh, I do not have the time this week either because I'm going to Amsterdam. But the week after I do have the time and then I'm going to see it uh, from some people uh, I've spoken to at uh, the main factory. Mm -hmm. It does sound like a Bill Lab 28, but it, it doesn't come close to the volume of the Bill Lab 28. So I don't quite understand why they would do this. According to the spec sheet, the max base output is one dB less. Yeah, but it, they say that what I've heard from a engineer at BNO is that it the, the Lab 28 sounds better. Yeah, probably has a bit more breathing room. Probably. Uh, so he says he has BLab 18s, BLab 3, and BLab 19s. Uh, make a 7.1 system out of it. 
because you could basically do that and uh, obviously base redirect, uh, but that's basically automated with the theater now with the, 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 the mic uh, for your room compensation. I would go for a 5.1 system. Yeah, I would definitely still do it. I wouldn't move the 28s to the back. I'd just get another set of 28s or, or, or like a second life 18s or whatnot, something used or whatever. Yeah. But I would not. But in some case, go, if you get this and you have 18s, 3s, and a 19, that makes I wouldn't, it epic I wouldn't system. go like, yeah, I wouldn't go full bows, believe that, you know, put this <laughs> shit in the back and the front, and, you know, you're going to get bouncy walls and whatnot. But what if you're. What if it's in a huge room, which most likely it'll end up in, as a, as it always does with B&O, that, you know, you're not going to put it in this little chicken coop that I'm sitting in an Airbnb. Like, it will it, fucking tear the room apart. It also... It probably would work quickly. It also depends on how large the room is. Because I do agree sure. that if, if, if it's a small, narrow room, don't put up the 18s. Use the 18s as rears or surround sounds. Mm -hmm. and use the threes as rear or Heights height around. speakers. But uh, if, if it's a wide room, I would definitely not put the 18s behind. I would put them as uh, left and right. So that's the question. So there'll be some people like me who've got 50s left and right from when I put the, yeah, <laughs> when I put the theater. And there were other people with like proper left and rights. When they put the theater in the middle, a the theater may be super capable for what it is but are those people really going to move move your big chunky left and rights elsewhere no no no, you just no, leave them there, no. Right? that's just getting reconnected to a new theater that's it for now though the only asterisk to it is since nobody here has actually heard it in real life that we don't fully know how to advise you yet on this because i mean we haven't heard it so i mean some people may say it's not good enough you may think differently and if you think it's okay then that's good enough. <clears throat> Let's talk about design. Sure, go I like it. it. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Henrik? Go, go for it. I mean, this is a typical Noto design, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that it looks... I like... I really do like the idea of putting end plates to fit the screens. I love that. That's what I hated with the stage. That's why I went with the contour. I like that a lot. I do miss some kind of B&O feeling. I think that it's it looks a bit cheap. Maybe it's um, maybe it's because that you know that it's just I mean, this is just a sound bar with end plates and a TV screen on top. And, and, and that's the issue. You, you miss all the magic, in, in my opinion. I do like that they put the lamellas in this direction instead of that stupid direction, which goes away from, from, from all the speakers. I mean, I hate the harmony with lamellas because when it's turned off, it doesn't... It, it, when it's turned off, it looks amazing, but when it turns on... It looks crazy with the lamellas this way and the speakers this way, and I really hate that. So that I do like. Uh, I think it looks like a stolen design from Apple. Uh, and I'm not that sold on it. Yeah, I, like, I, 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 I like the, the, the electronics behind it. I like the, the capabilities. And I like the functionalities that you actually get everything that you get in the 28s. You get that in a TV that is freaking amazing, like epic amazing. But I'm not really keen about the, the, the design of it. Which is why I think they'll keep a flagship like the Harmony for a while. Oh, yeah. Which is more of a magic kind oh, of Oh, yeah, thing. Harmony. But this is a perfect solution for theaters with projectors and stuff, because this was not possible prior to anything other than BIOS system three and four, right? <clears throat> that you had a processor that you could hide yeah. away somewhere, where this is kind of a, you know, well, you can still just run an extender to the projector, you know, ERC the shit out of it, and then you still have the picture and, you know, let I mean, the sources be dealt with on the if, if, if you just take the sound bar as is. <clears throat> yeah. 
without little Millers, but with the clock. It looks mm. like something from Sennheiser. Like a lot the sound, uh, a lot the sound bar from Sennheiser. So a point, so a point I see. Yeah. I see that's a point. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I see it to a point, but... Pull up the Sennheiser one, because I got no fucking idea. Just even. take the MBO from Sennheiser. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, Henrik, you're talking a big, chunky material covered black. Kind yes. Of slab, right? So yeah. to that extent, I see, the, I see the similarity. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I love the idea of this. And this is something, I mean, this was what we were hoping when the stage came out with those kind of capabilities. Uh, we, I mean, I, I got the price point spot on on this. Uh, so, I, I mean, it it will sell. Of course it will. But it's still... It, it's cheap. I don't know. I don't see wouldn't the resemblance at all. The Sennheiser. I don't see the resemblance in the Sennheiser thing at all. Other than just fucking loaded with speakers that you can see them kind of. Which I don't like. There's those little divots and shit. No? I know that that you will get some aluminium and stuff on on the B and O, and it it of course the the B and O looks better. But I don't I don't get the flashiness of B and O anymore. Uh, so you're not the first person. Someone else raised this on Discord. Um, okay. And I don't quite see. It. I quite like the design because yeah, look at that Sennheiser chunky thing, right? That is. Just that's what it is. It's so awful. Effectively, what you're buying, even if you're buying the minimum theater with no wings and stuff, you basically take that Sennheiser, round it all off, put a screen on top, wrap it in aluminium, and you end up in a quite different place, right? Sure. So you end up you end up with something much nicer. It's no David yes. Lewis classic, right? But it's much nicer. But I mean, it it looks it looks B and O ish when you get the Lamillas on it. But without the Lamellas, it looks like a every sound bar on the market, in my opinion. Yeah, but also like you know the David Lewis era, he passed fucking eleven years ago now. So like you gotta get past that. Like I think it's better than uh, than the Eclipse, and I just don't like the Eclipse. With that stupid stick out, I just don't like it. This I, is I, over from Twitch. Do you, do you think it would look better if it had had an aluminium grill option? No. No, okay. that would look like something that I don't, may, maybe, I mean, the side co covers is not aluminum, right? Mm -hmm. It's plastic. What? What do you mean the side, side side covers? The wings. Side, the wings, you mean? The wings. Those are aluminum. Yeah, they're okay. aluminum. They're aluminum. I mean, if, if, if you took the grill and put it in aluminum, then it would look like a chunky BV-12, right? Yes. So it I do would look like, like a that, fucking air filter. Yeah. I do like that they did this with the Lamellas, but what I would have done, in my opinion, if I was this designer behind this, because when you look at the three screens right now, the best looking TV is definitely the 55 inch, no doubt. So what I would have done is to make a screen <clears throat> or a speaker cover that was, it is just my opinion, sorry. Uh, if I step on somebody's toes, yeah, that's uh, fine. It's, this is an opinion show. This is not purely a fact show. So, so what I would have done is to make the speaker grill with either the cloth or the lamellas to go with the full width of the TV, because then it would look amazing. Yeah, but I don't think that that's realistic. Personally, I uh, like. I, I'm going to disagree on the opinion part because to me, the m best looking one is the 65 inch. I kind of like that extended bit besides it. I agree. Well, can I just make a caveat here, right? Yeah. Everyone's good. For the first time, right, I tried to work it out. If you take um, one side, well, take with wings, without wings, the different sizes, the different ways you can set it up, right? Floor stand, table stand, motorized floor stand, separated on the wall. There's a million combinations, right? So you're not just looking at one thing like day one, you looked at Eclipse, you liked it, you didn't like it, that was it, right? This you can play around with in so many more ways, right? But I think that's the 
beauty of it more I mean I don't mind the design the designs are nice but there's so many different ways you can play with it and get it right for you and I think that's 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 the great thing about this right Taid agrees thank you Taid <laughs> he, he says Henrik speaks his mind on point in terms of theater design so uh good going <laughs> I, I but I, 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 I'm, I'm just, I, I do understand why you can't do it on some sorts of way, but I mean, you could extend it with some black cloth and make the the center speaker look amazing on all three screens. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I, I just have a feeling that they probably looked at that in one way or another, and that would drive the price up a lot more for bigger sizes. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I you don't... would have to do that, the, the lamellas, like the break that you're talking about, Henrik. You would have to do it from that line where that, you know, and and, the, and, and just have that piece in three different lengths. And that's the problem. Both sides. because And that's, that's, that's the main issue here. Because if you have to do it my way, which is the right way, <laughs> then you have to then you have to disassembly the 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 sound bar to put in some other covers or you have to sell it in three different sizes which is something that will cost a lot compared to just give you an in plate like on the bottom of the kitchen uh it's 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 much more expensive if you do it my way but it is the right way in sorry so well, that would have been the David Lewis's way of doing it. That's basically it, right? Yep. Like, it's just no, we're fucking doing it this way. But I think he, that they're he, not. He would he would turn his grave in this and says if if they they have saying oh we we can't do that because that will be too expensive and he would just say well it's not going to look B and O ish if we don't do it and then he would just pass the idea. That's the difference. I'm really I'm really surprised by. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm really surprised the, uh, I guess this is all personal, right? I mean, I've really been pretty ambivalent about a lot of B&O's designs in recent years. The level for me is the only one, right, I like. And actually, for the first time, I don't, if you accept that they're going to make two-piece TVs, right, a two-piece solution, which yep. is what this is, this is pretty close to, I think, as good as they were going to do. Mm -hmm. so I don't really have design issues with it and bear in mind they they built in flexibility to this right mm -hmm. like the widening thing the wings and the different ways you can and given that they started with that principle I think they've done a I think they've done a bloody good job with the actual forget the power and the specs with the actual form factor I think they've done a really really good job with it I like it. I think, to me, it looks like that wood is just basically morphing out of that big sheet of aluminium. That's what it looks like, you know? Like, it's just, it's coming yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. And then, and I, I like that a lot. Yeah. I actually like it in a 77, because I like a lot of that aluminium and shit. Like, this would look killer with lap 12s, per se. Because it still ties in together, you know what I That's mean? That's true. Especially, especially the bottom. And like if you if you look at the continuity, I think like with the product, this would kill with any speaker currently in the portfolio. But yes, it's not fucking it's not David Lewis anymore, man. The dude's long gone, man. Ashes are on the fucking fireplace urn. Like it's over. But I think this is a much better design than what I what Thorsten Valor may have come out with. Right? He's not really involved in it. Or in anything anymore as much. So here's the question: So, so when you think about design, I, I, Willie, I agree. I quite, I quite like it. I don't love it like the David Lewis stuff. But imagine they took, mm -hmm. they just took the the. Imagine this looked like a bigger stage, bigger that way, that way, and even better. Yeah. Right? And you had basically that. Would you want that instead? I know me no. I prefer this. Mm hmm. I I, no, I, I, like don't, I don't like the look of the stage anyway, so... Stage looks nice. Uh, you know what, it I looks nice like... with, the, with, the, with the wood uh, from, from, from Prestige, but I don't like it with the cloths. So this That's the only way that I'll do it. So this generally comes down to 
if you if they were never they were never going to make an OLED BV11, right? Yeah. So if they made a an OLED BV11, then obviously we'd all get, we'd all drop our trousers, right? <laughs> um, get ex- get extremely excited. But if you accept that they're not going to do that, and they are going down the route, road of everything's been two piece, the Eclipse, the Harmony. Uh, contour effectively is right. Everything's a two piece. So, <laughs> That's effectively three pieces, actually. Or three people, right? <laughs> so you know, I'm I I've been through the grieving process of no more one, no more, no more one piece, beautiful kind of things. So once you get uh, for me, once I've got over that, I think this is they've done a really good job with this. I mean, I I, I I'm a big fan of the two piece. And I'm a big fan of the two piece for one reason, and that is that B and O just stop getting panels for their own shit, and then when it breaks, they can't fix it. So, I mean, I really, really like that they are going with a company that makes the best screens in the world. I do appreciate that, and I appreciate that I can just buy a new one and put that on top of my TV. I like that a lot. So I I would like like that Mm -hmm. on 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 the theater as well. But the only thing I don't like about the theater is just look at Matt's right now assembling this craziness. It it looks cheap as fuck. I don't agree. I don't agree. I don't agree with you. I don't know what you expect from it. Like, what do you want it fucking be dipped in gold and shit? Like, no, no, no. I can arrange for that. By the way, there's a company locally that does that. The cloth edition looks cheap, in my opinion. It looks like a regular soundbar that you can buy in a normal tech store, and that's it. You just came home with it. To me, what looks cheap is a black Biolab 18. That's what looks cheap to me, and and because it looks like it's made of plastic. Agreed. This I have no issues with. This I have absolutely no issues with, and I actually like the concept because this is a it's a reminiscent concept of a Biovision 7 in my eyes, with the big fuck off soundbar underneath it. And the TV that uh, is rotating and, and tilts because this, I think, I, I has a tilt function as well. So uh, I'm quite excited about that. Not entirely I don't sure about that, it, but it, it does doesn't rotate. Tilt? I don't think so, but it does rotate. Because I was wondering how they would tilt. Would it tilt the whole thing, or would it just tilt the uh, the screen? But if it doesn't, I, I don't see it being tilty. But then again, like, do you really need the tilt? I guess you, I mean, no. like you do an Eric and put washers in between uh, some screws yeah. or attaches so and you have some have tilt. It. But, but yeah, if, I, nothing I, else. I, I, I think like the personally, the best looking is as a as a separated uh, unit on the wall. Personally, mm-hmm. oh, I agree. Yeah. Uh, I mean, however much I like the TV experience, uh, the way it looks separated on the wall looks amazing to me. Especially which, you... how, which is how I'm going to do it, right? Uh, which is eventually how I will do it. <laughs> yeah. What, separate? Wall yeah. matters of the world. Come again. Uh, wall mounters unite. <laughs> the wall mounters. The wall mounting club. So with, with, with the electronic uh, wall mount? No, no, oh. just separate it like, like is on screen now. No! Yes. Jesus fuck, you guys suck. <laughs> with wings. With, with wings. I mean, um, y- you couldn't live in, in Denmark where this fuck freaking product comes from because that looks awful. Hang on, that's a product. That's a picture from the, a Danish company. That's a picture they took when they went to Amsterdam or something. Smoke some. <laughs> Why or not you Colorado? Can, no, they, like they're it. way I more like over the top separated. there. <laughs> you 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 shouldn't separate those. The, the, this looks just awful. You see the notch on the TV screen. I mean, it it looks like a half finished product. I mean, I I don't know why by the looks of things they chose a, a C series TV, but I would have it with a G series panel. G series. Personally, flat I wouldn't ball. separate it. If, if if the TV is the same size as the soundbar, I wouldn't separate it. I would have put like an eighty-three in there, and that's when I would have that gap. Because then it looks. What I'm intending to do in the US is get a, a big fuck you screen. <laughs> so, and but then, yeah, it's, uh, I like it. I like this product. I think it's gonna sell, 
I think I'm, I'm going to be setting up a lot of those. I'm certain of it here. For Apparently, the mean, whole I'm chat here. is 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 agreeing with me. So you guys are just wrong. Henrik That's okay. Really... You don't have Henrik... to have it this way, if at all. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Henrik, I very rarely disagree with you. This is quite a surprise. I'm very disappointed. That's right. Very disappointed. I'm not going to sleep well. Well, there is something with a ball back that disagrees, but that's fine. <laughs> Just scratch it, it'll go away. <laughs> I'll, I'll scratch it, so it will go away. So you're... Yeah, I think... I don't know, I see this being in production for at least a decade. Yes. That, in various that versions. They'll, that yeah. they'll have that going on. Yeah. In various versions. I wonder if the like the 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 Mercedes grills would look good on it. Daddy. It would I be nice would to be, match the fifties, yeah. 50s, yeah. Mm. But what but are you matching? You... Because the, the 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 oak being up and down would is sort of matching the twenty eights and fifties as is. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how and they'll 18s, do the Mercedes. Yeah. I'm not sure how they'll do the Mercedes grill because when you if you look when the lamellas are off, right? Um, the way the piece attaches, it attaches vertically like this, right? So to make a rounded, well, I guess then nothing's possible, right? Anything's possible. Freaking, they carved out of uh, a, 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 a fucking purse from a block of aluminium. I'm sure they can make a, a, a grill for this. Yeah, I'll shut, I'll shut up. I'll be quiet. I think they should totally do that. Even in bespoke, I'm sure that the first whoever, Sheikh, Mohammed, whatever, would pay for it <laughs> to pave the way for the rest of us. But yeah, it looks cool. Is that, oh yeah, that's the top view. I like it. So, Henrik, my question was going to be, your harmony will remain your harmony. And I think you've answered that. Uh, are you asking me if I'm going to change for Sennheiser soundbar? Speechless. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I haven't made up my mind. Um, I have uh, one big problem with this. And uh, first of all, I cannot get away with having a 77 inch uh, with this setup because that would look way too crazy in, uh, in my living room. I know that the 77 I have now, I can tuck it away, hide it. Yeah, And then when I use it, I don't care about the size because then I'm watching TV, you know. So that I don't care about. But the problem right now is that if I should put this up in a 77 inch, that would be on showcase every day I walk into the room that it would just be. I, I would I would have to go down to a 65 inch if I should change just to work out the aesthetics of the room. So just keep the mm -hmm. harmony, right? Probably, yes. If it works, it sounds like it works pretty well for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't think that... I mean, I, I'm, I'm not really keen about the looks. I do love the wooden grills because it would match my 28s. I do appreciate that a lot. But I would not go with... Uh, I would have to go with a 65-inch uh, instead of a 77 because... When the 77 is unfold in the in the Harmony edition in in my living room, it's speechless. I mean, it's it's it looks way too vulgar. So you can't have that up all the time. You have to tuck it away, um, which which makes sense with with yeah. the Harmony. And I do also like that I can just play music on the Harmony with the with with it shut off. And I think it's a much more Discreet. Discreet and a much more well-built product than a sound bar with the screen. Make sense? Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense to me, but I just, I don't know. For me, this kind of just, the, the harmony is cool, but this is definitely something that's starting to make more sense for me. Especially with the 90s and the capability that this could have as a center channel. That it could properly keep up. Not that the harmony can't, but like this is way more. Yeah, this yeah, will be pretty more. much in a different league, and also the Atmos feature is really, really fucking nice. Yes. So also, it's kind of amazing that this will do the room compensation for the 90s better than the 90s. 
Yeah. See, and that's that's enticing to me. Because uh, this one goes from, uh, what is it, 30 hertz to 10,000 hertz now for room uh, compensation for any speaker that's attached to it even. So, right, so how this is going to work, sweet. right, you, put, you, you set up the theater, you plug in the calibration mic that comes with it, it senses mm -hmm. what other speakers you've got, and it basically does a room compensation for the whole set, right? Yes. I think you tell it in the menu what's connected to what if it's PL, right? Because they only auto sense themselves uh, via Visa only. Yeah, there's a, a, a Jeff wrote a bit on his uh, Tone Meister blog, and uh, when you tell it what's connected to it, it knows where the phases are, so stuff doesn't cancel itself out. So the uh, the theater will compensate for the phasing out between different sets of speakers in your room and uh, like, just speakers like, that way to each other, but also in the frequency sweep. So everything will go whoop. <laughs> like like Marin's yeah. Canon uh, Yamaha has done for the past 20 years. Yes. Yeah, but it's sweet. We're finally there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's crazy that we think of this as, wow, this is crazy technology. Yeah, yeah, I don't I think that it's a crazy technology. I just think that it's finally gotten to the point where B&O said, okay, this is perfected enough that we can actually replicate this in any fucking scenario, and hence we have the accuracy. Because this was introduced in Avant, and they took it out because there was imperfections in uh, in yeah. how it calibrated itself. So Because they wanted to do everything themselves instead of just using something that is on the street already, like Odyssey MTX32 or whatever. Yeah, yeah because when you interviewed Jeff, he was still saying the the imperfect, like it was good enough, but it was an approximation. It wasn't exact enough. Exactly. I mean, mm -hmm. it is kind of interesting that, I mean, that was what, a year ago or so? Uh, two years ago. No, yeah, something like that. I mean, that, that within that, that time frame, there's been something that Jeff says, yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah, but you still have the true image processor after the Atmos processor yeah. on this product. Which I also like because they found a way to make them work with, together yeah. and stuff. Yep. Yeah. So I'm intrigued, right? If I put this in between my 50s, I've got my threes at the back, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm a bit short of imagination here, but I mean, if I'm playing an Atmos feed, then how the hell is that going to sound i mean I, I guess what i can guess what it's going to do i just have no conception of how that's going to sound because the theater will be doing center the up firing the side firing and then the 50s and the 50s will do left front and right it could sound insanely good it's not it's not going to change anything it's just object based compared to discrete channels no, yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, I guess the thing is, I've never really heard of proper Atmos. Well, Atmos is 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 is. I get what it is. Object based, right? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, but it's not equivalent to ceiling speakers. Yeah, yeah the know. amount of people that miss <laughs> that call up firing speakers Atmos speakers, or exactly, I'm almost leaving now. <laughs> Uh, I, I know of your previous rant about that, and I've been trying to emulate it, but it's, apparently it's, I wasn't forceful more, enough. You, saying deep, you can pinpoint things between your 50s and... Do you have s surround sounds? I've got the... Threes. I've got the rears, the, the, the threes that are behind me. Yeah, but that's still surrounds. Surrounds, so, yeah. Yeah. So, so what you will uh, experience with the Atmos is that you can pinpoint a direction between your 50s and the threes where you can say that this is actually right here compared to a, somewhere between the two speakers. Yeah, it's so much you more three-dimensional, right? Yeah. yeah, so that's where it's object-based. It can say that it should be directly here instead of somewhere between the meters between the speakers. So I'm pretty sure then some like well-specked uh, out cinemas have Atmos. Yep. Right, so I'm sure I've experienced that in... Uh, in the cinema, what I'm trying to work out is with this setup here. How's that actually? I, I get how it's going to work. I understand what it is. Uh, anyway, I'm just saying, I'm quite excited to hear what it will all sound like, right? Yeah, I mean, you will be amazed, definitely. Yeah, you'll be you'll be 
thrown back in your couch. No, no doubt. You also need that. Uh, you need to check out that your source material is uh, is correct. Uh, try out both what you can rent online, but definitely try to buy a Blu-ray or UHD disc with the Atmos track as well, because it is just so much far away from the streaming quality. It's crazy. Um, you're preaching to the converted, right? Yep. So I, I still use my Blu-ray, regular Blu-ray, 1080p sometimes. Yep. So I actually went online today to try and grab one of the uh, Panasonic um, disc players before they stop making them, or if they stop making them. But it doesn't matter if it's 1080p, because you can still get a 1080p with Atmos soundtrack on it. Oh, right. I didn't, know, I didn't realize that. And and it could be fun to try it just to listen to the, the streaming quality that you can find on Netflix and whatever uh, soon via play in your country. <laughs> uh, but but it could be fun if, if, if you tried that out and then you took the same movie and put it on the disc and listen to that because it's it's almost four times the bandwidth. Formula One yep. in Atmos, and you can hear Lewis Hamilton flying over Alonso. <laughs> <laughs> that's steady, steady now. <laughs> steady. Yeah, Henrik, you're. It's uh, insane how many drivers they pack into this. It's it's just crazy to me. Uh, Leslie Weir, by the way, had a question. Are Bang Olufsen after a new customer base? Too many broken promises, re harmony, and Eclipse upgrades. Tech specs are great, but it's too non BNO cuts. Custom, customer market as exciting customers expect a certain look i don't think there's too many broken promises read the eclipse although i do see what people are saying with the panel changing on the eclipse specifically the harmony has kept yeah. true to it but also bno is not in charge of lg changing the shape of their panels this often yeah you sort of hand it over to the gods of LG what they decide for the next two years. Well, that's 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 another problem. That is that B and O as a as a company of tech products have put their their all their eggs in the basket of LG eggs in in one basket. And what they're not known to is that okay. Let's make a new product every year, every year, every year. Let's go, let's go, let's go. b and is like, oh, if we can have a new product every third year, that will be amazing. That's how they used to do. Uh, I know that there have been uh, a, a bit too much cocaine at the factory the past year or two, but normally they do this every third year or so. Um, but this is a company where they are actually providing new tech all the time and every year they come out with a new product and bno has to adapt to that and that is a total new ballpark for them yeah oh absolutely uh i i think they are after new customers but i also think they're after existing customers like sandeep with this because i mean if you want to wall mount something i mean in, in your I think same lounge, it, does, it, it doesn't really work because you have that cabinet there. An eclipse for you is problematic because you have gaps and you don't like gaps. <laughs> gap bad. But didn't, you, did, didn't you just say that you want to mount it with a big gap? No, the gap on the side, like the gap like that is fine. The gap that way is not fine. <laughs> from the wall. Yeah. Green away from the wall bad. Very bad. <laughs> You can shake your head all you want, Henrik. Very bad. <laughs> Wall mounters do nice. <laughs> Wall mounters, you know. Um, no, I'm excited about it. I can't wait to hear this thing, man. I think it's going to be something fierce. I agree. I mean, the, Pricing? It's a good starting system, too, for people that are getting into the BNO game. I think this is the perfect way to get in because that's, you know... You have I, a, a sick music system. In terms of upgradability, this is one of those promises. I'm not sure it's a promise, and I'm not entirely sure I read it from BNO or from one of the journalists that was at the launch. But apparently for uh, uh, 
uh, Mozart speaker tie-in is on the roadmap for 2023. Whatever that means, it could be December next year. But at least somebody said it's on the roadmap. And that will be here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was in that video that that French guy did, which was partially in English. It, 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 it means that you will be able to use the balance and the level as a main rear speakers or front left and right or ceiling speakers and so on. Excellent That'd idea. Cool. Yep. And also way more cost effective than 18s are at the time or at now before they go up again but it doesn't look as good but i mean it will definitely perform i mean think about the theater as the center speaker and four balances i mean you would have a system that will kick major camel <laughs> yeah the only thing that i would do i would probably tie in a 19 with it to make i don't think that you need that ah yeah dude you, know, you want those last eight hertz or something you do need a fog. I, I, I think the, the reason why I'm saying this, Willie, is because that if you have a setup where you want the theater uh, and you want four uh, balances, then your room is not, it's not a big room, right? It's a small theater setup. So I don't think that you need a subwoofer for this setup. I agree. In that circumstance, I agree, yeah. If you want something bigger and wider, then you have to get the bill apps and yeah but go. then you end up at 28 almost immediately yes because 18s are very very pretty but in terms of sound output the balance pretty much kicks its ass yep mm -hmm. but the balance the difference between the balance and the 18 is that the balance have bass and more and more much more like power and and a yeah. narrow wide mode whatever you want it's uh, actually able to pull the speaker back in time to produce some new sounds and the 18s have that capabilities i mean i, I love By the my way 18s, they... but th they are older and limited in capabilities I'm very intrigued by the balance that just came out. They have it in the shop now. The polished aluminium, or not polished, it's the same that grooved, yeah. micro grooved finish like it is on the on the 28. It's basically a beer lap Boy, balance now. Looks, <laughs> may, it maybe looks so good. Maybe it is to that it will match the theater. Uh, I need it, I need to uh, chew my glasses now. <laughs> 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 yes, Bob. Um, have you seen the? Have you seen the theatre with the um, black anthracite and the dark oak? Yeah, oh, God, I'm, I'm, looking, sexy. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm <laughs> looking at the. I'm looking at the skeptic in the corner, Henrik. Come again? Sorry. Have you seen the theatre in the black anthracite and the dark oak? Nope. Looks trouser droppingly worthy. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's yeah, it looks very nice. It looks it looks damn nice. I just hope that they come up with the walnut uh, lamellas for the for the theater. So far, they have light buy oak, the oak uh, dark oak, and I don't think walnut yet, but I don't remember. No, no, not walnut. No walnut. Uh, so in the in the no AR, walnut yet. In the AR up, there's the. Uh, the fabric, the two were the three words, those two oaky ones, and the dark oak. Um, there are there will be different color fabrics. Mm -hmm. That I've could also it. make it quite interesting if it's like white or I don't know, maybe you have an odd wall color that you want to match something to. I'm pretty sure I've seen, which I don't think I should have, um, a. Um, a um, <laughs> Uh, in my dreams, let's say in my dreams. I, no, uh, I have seen a picture of a uh, different color fabric. Uh, Sweet. I mean, uh, yeah, great. Uh, let me see. Can I find the the, the anthracite? <coughs> Somebody posted it somewhere, but Discord goes so fast the last few days that. It'd be cool to have the anthracite in a theater, actual theater, because then it just disappears, so you don't have any reflections or nothing. Well, the cool. reflections, some people, I think, some people who are a bit like Henrik, a bit wary of the wings, particularly when you get yeah. to seven, 
I think they're wary because of the reflect, partly because of the proportions, but partly because of the ref- reflectivity. And actually, mm-hmm. if you look at one of the videos from the guys at the launch, when they lingered on the big 77 inch, there is reflections, right? Some people might be why but with the anthracite you get very little of that it looks to me it looks i think quite a lot of people will like it right mm-hmm. you've got the picture up uh, uh yeah there was a yeah bit of a map picture because it, i couldn't make it any bigger oh where did it go i'll go find it but that anthracite looks uh the the proper way between uh Here's a better color. Look, it, it, it's it's not as dark, I don't think, as the 28s are. But it's similar enough that it's not a different color. If that makes yeah, sense. looks like the same as the 28. I remember the 20. Yeah, it may be me and how I remember it. But I remember the anthracite on the 28 always looking a bit darker than... Like no, no, no. More I, I, that, black, that's so. because of lighting. That's because of lighting. Because when when there is light in my living room, then it looks very, very light gray. Uh, so, oh, is that what you've got at home? The anthracite twenty eight. Yep. With the uh, smoked oak lamellas. What do you think, by the way, about the anthracite covers for the uh, harmony? I love it. Because that would perfectly match the 28s as well. Yes, but the only thing that doesn't match is that the wooden lamellas goes the wrong way when the TV is on. I, <laughs> I, I, I can't cope with it. So, so, so right now I'm stuck with the, with the cloth. Uh, I like the cloth uh, on the Harmony. Uh, I would definitely like to have the, um, the wooden lamellas on it, but I can't have it when it goes the wrong direction when the TV's on. I would, my, 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 I would hate it. So that's why you have, that's why you have the cloth. Yep. Henrik, you are a, deba- you are a demanding man. <laughs> and I applaud you for it. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. I mean, I, 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 I I was at the store and I saw it and I was I was about to to get the the wooden lamellas and then I stopped myself and then I went back to the store after a few months to to talk with the bespoke to get the uh, the uh, the smoked oak uh, but then I could only get the smoked oak with I think it was gold edition. And then I went back when the, it was the true bespoke department, so I would get it in the anthracite and then smoked oak. And now they're making it as a normal product, I think. But I just can't have. I would love looking at it. The only thing that that can rest in where I can rest in peace with with the product is that when it's on, the lamellas is away from the twenty eights. So it doesn't matter which way the direction of the lamellas goes on the TV, but I would just still, I mean, I would just hate it. So you've got behind your harmony, am I correct? You've got the same acoustic paneling, right? Uh, I do have some, uh, no, 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 I, I don't have those. Oh, okay, I thought, okay. No, I actually, I went full retard when I uh, uh, redid my flooring. So I took the floor and put it up the wall as well. No comment. Full cool. yeah. <laughs> Every time we come home from vacation, we see the floor and we're just like, "What the fuck did we think about?" <laughs> and and it's it's just it's just crazy floors. I mean, it 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 it, but it it looks very very sleek. I mean, this anthracite looks sexy on this twenty or sixty five inch uh, version. Mm-hmm. It looks great. That looks great. Piano black, anyone? That'd be interesting. It's probably a bespoke color, and or maybe give it nine months and then they add it to the uh, portfolio. Fully portfolio, yeah. I'm not sure. It could be good for a one-off or a limited run or something like that. I mean, I bet you people are interested. Oh, yeah, they're, in. they're good with those limited runs. 
Um, we've we've not. Um, I'm not sure. There's we should spend much time, but we've not discussed pricing. Uh, yeah. So it costs uh, what it costs, I guess. Buy it now before it goes up. That's what I'd say. That's the no right way. That's the right conclusion, right? <laughs> that's uh, look where the '90s are at. You know, I bought them six years ago, and now they're double the price almost. Well, you should have bought them in blue, then they would have been triple the price. Mm -hmm. I told you. <laughs> Fuck that, man. They didn't have a blue one, but back when I ordered it, they only had but, the whites. But we were up. all. Even those who are more realistic, we were all wrong, right? In what? So we were all sl either slightly too low or some people on the forums and Discord way too low, right? I was spot on on this. I thought you said last week or the week before that before, your pro before you knew anything, you were guessing around 5,000 5, euros. I, well, that's in Danish, I said uh, around 45,000 Danish kroner. Which more. is, which is, um, let me see what the price is. I think it's forty six thousand or forty nine. I no, think it's forty nine. Yeah, in cloth, it's in cloth, it's like fifty. It's yeah. forty nine. I said forty five. Okay, yep. so you went far off, All right? Okay. So I was uh, five hundred euro off or something. I was hoping it was around five grand because I was being optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it could go to six, but I was also not expecting 800 watts of power. Yeah. Mm. I think that the price is spot on comparatively to what this does in comparison to what the Bio System 3 and Bio System 4 used to cost. The Bio System 3 was a $10,000 processor. It was Canadian money, but still, like it was still, still probably around $7,000. It was US floating about. Yeah, it was it was flowing about seventy five hundred bucks US. Yeah, and so, that was what fifteen years ago, if not longer. <laughs> and it's done fuck all, other than it could control a projector and it could control output into two different video sources. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Where this is a full on music system, if you choose not to put a screen on it. Yeah, and you can actually put uh, third party screens on this. It doesn't have to be LG. Mm. Like you can only if you want to use the remote, right? Yeah, because yeah, the setup that's... is fully in the app, uh, so that you don't have to have a special menu anymore. But that's that's the same with the stage, right? Yeah, yeah. What what, what more can you change? Well, with this thing, you can change everything. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I know, I know. But that's that's because of of the 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 sound processor in this compared to to the stage. But of course, that would be in the app. The only the only thing is that now you're gonna get all these guys on the forum saying that I bought the the theater and I put my Sony television on it. How can I get the Bio Remote One to work with it? That's gonna you don't yeah, but that that that's still gonna be a subject for for the next year. Yeah. Well, then why did you buy a TV that you knew wasn't compatible with it? Yeah, but it's still gonna be a question for the next year. Like everybody's gonna ask it. So my get my guess. Oh, no, I get the same answer. My my guess is that their plan, which is different to the plan from pre pre this, their plan going forward is to get some integration of the other. So it ties in with Samsung, Google TV, with a lot of the other brands. Get a similar level of integration. I don't expect it to happen anytime soon, but I'm pretty sure they are making efforts to offer the say a similar or the same level of integration they're going to try but we'll s they're dependent on the other people to say yes to that i agree i completely agree yeah, yeah. i mean uh it is great though that it works i mean because if people like we're diehard bno fans in many ways but some people are diehard samsung fans to the point where, like, they'll LG is a good TV, but they'll never have it because it's not good enough for OLED or whatever. It's not bright enough, and it's like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, people are equally nuts about their panel choice. So DJ Neo says the Bureau model works with Philips TVs with go with Google. By the way, it's not brilliant, but it's a default BT remote functionality. So. 
just like we paired the, the Bio Remote one into the iPhone and you could play post tracks, turn up the volume, skip them. It will never be a good experience, no matter what. No. No. But it is workable. I mean, I can I can actually use my uh, my Bio Remote one in my car. <laughs> which is very 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 convenient when you don't when you just do like this instead of this then you just oh i thought it worked for the pdk like the car? upshift yeah upshift. i did <laughs> I, driving, I did just I, using it. I did just That's for like fun and i can play pause next track and turn the volume up and down get the fuck out i'm gonna try that too so it in, like give it a year it. and you have that Pierce Brosnan integration that you can drive your seven series with the keypads. <laughs> with with that was an Ericsson phone. Yeah. The flip up that Shit. was the same that has these two come out that give you two thousand volts into your body. One of <laughs> one of the worst films and bomb films. No. <laughs> Sandeep. What? Henrik, you're disappointing me along various lines today no when he's on that top floor of the garage and he's driving the car around and outside of the wall and down into the av stealer and it's just like yep that's it that's just amazing <laughs> all right you're making me rewatch this later on now <laughs> yes <laughs> i actually enjoyed that movie too <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> it's 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 the greatest thing ever and like now I'm like that that arrogantness that he just turn around the keypad and just deliver it and it goes through the wall and down and and he's like you you if you watch the movie just just look at Pierce Brosnan when when the when the car is in the air the camera goes back to him and he's like <laughs> and then it goes into the store and he when it, it's in the store he closes it down and just yep <laughs> damn you what yeah, do we think about it. the touchpad uh, uh, on on top actually I like it. I mean, I sort of get it, but as a TV it's experience, screen, it's a right? bit odd. But that's only because if you want to use it as a music system. Yeah. It makes sense. And I mean, I use it on the 28 every day. Do you? Yes. Because, Mike, you never use it, do you? I, 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 I use it because everything, every time I go into, every time I come home, I press the Essence remote and the shape starts playing. Then I go into the living room if I want that experience in there. Instead of joining the TV and everything, I just hold on the 28 and it'll join. Nice. Otherwise, and I, I have uh, four favorite stations on the 28, so I wake up in the morning. Sometimes I just turn on the music from the bed, either, or then I go into the living room and just, oh, I want to listen to that. And I press my button and then I'll join all the other stuff. Nice. So I use it almost every day, yes. Question so, for you, Henrik. The, how, how did you get the clock display on the Halo from the gateway? Do you have the macro? Yeah. Can you email it to me? Yes. Sweet, because I want to try that in the shop. So yep, sure. uh, the poll is in. Together on the floor stand, the TV experience has 50% of the votes. Together on the wall is 26%, and separated on the wall is 23%. So yes, we're the minority, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll convert everyone. <laughs> well, you, you don't have to please anybody besides yourself, uh, I mean, <laughs> literally and figuratively. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it all depends on different how your lounge is configured. I actually like the. I I think I like the floor stand they've done with this thing. Maybe a little iMac-ish, right? But so what? All right, I like it. I don't. I like it that they just diverted away from the pipe. The pipe has been around for decades now. Yeah. Right. So it says, so, imagine moving lamellas in the theater uh, like the twenty eight. Uh, I would think that's an excellent thing that could uh, could look super cool, but it's going to add so much to the price. Yep. Like yeah. you, you're gonna if if you want to. Have that in any way elegant, you're going to add at least a grand to it again on top of the oak version. People love their movement. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, All I, right. I, I do like the, the movement too, but it's, uh, it's, it's 
at some point you can do everything right for the correct price, but at some point it's going to be unaffordable. And mm. it already seems that a lot of us are not exactly the target audience anymore. But it looks very much as the 23, the 30-inch Apple display from 20 years ago. Still cool. <laughs> not, a bad, not a bad thing, right? No, yeah, no, no, I, I, I don't understand how that's somewhat of a criticism because that was an iconic design in and of itself. I kind of like this floor stand. I do too. I, I like do. it a lot more than the floor stand of the Harmony, for instance. I do too. I do too. And the contour. Yeah, the contour stand is sort of... It's okay, it's functional, but it's not exactly fantastic looking. I mean, obviously, none of them compare to the Horizon floor stand. <laughs> no, that was by far the worst they, yeah, probably ever made for the Horizon. <laughs> the, the shopping. Are we shopping. talking about the wheels, or are we talking about the the twisty one manually? The because wheels, the twisty man, one manually it? didn't work if you put it on carpet. No, it's it's. You have to literally lift the, the TV and turn it. It's, it's it has to be definitely the wheels. Wheels. Everyone needs a bit of shopping trolley aesthetic in their in their living room, right? Yeah, it's it's the wheels. It it was actually uh, it was from the old the old old Biovisions, right? Yeah. Yeah. I get what they were going for. I have a a, a weird quirk. Uh, recommended room sizes that B and O gives are they just utter bullshit? I think they. Uh, I think they're not meaningful, right? I don't think. I don't think that, that those things mean anything. Because this says fifteen to sixty square meters, uh, fifteen square meters to sixty square meters. If you look at the balance product sheet, it says ten to eighty. I don't know what these things mean, right? And it's like. So a balance is like half the power of this, yet it does more of the room. <laughs> like, what are... Don't also, you think like... that it? Don't you think that it has something to do with the upfiring speakers as well, to be able to reproduce the Atmos experience? This is a surround sound product, not a speaker. Yeah. And to be a surround sound product, you need to put it in within a box that it will be able to manage and put the sound everywhere in the room with this one product. This is not just a speaker that has to play music, right? So I think that's the reason why it's a maximum of 60 square meters. Make sense? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. It's just, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's, some, it's a bit of a weird way of, because 60 square meter room is really fucking large. Mm -hmm. How how yeah. about the ABL in this? That's going to be exciting. Well, if it starts kicking in around ninety, holy fuck, because is that if, loud? If yeah, but I don't know. But it's going to be uh, exciting to hear when it's going to kick in because I could never live with the stage in my normal setup as is. Not even if I could connect all my speakers to it because the ABL kicks in way too fast, in my opinion. So that's going to be exciting with this product. Don't you have a contour in your bedroom? Yes. And as, it... as you just said, in my bedroom. This is main listening position. Yeah, oh, okay, but this is, this is literally 1 dB less than 28. So yeah, are, yeah, yeah, are yeah, you but... often walking into the ABL of the 28s? No, and that's just what I'm saying, that I don't hope the ABL will, will kick in. I have a feeling it won't. Same here. I was talking to somebody mm -hmm. at B&O, and he basically said with 50s and whatnot, you don't really have to tune them beforehand anymore with the internal room compensation, which is kind I mean, of a crazy if, thing if, to hear. If, if you look at the spec sheets on the stage compared to the theater, mm -hmm. then you have 86 dB SPL on the base, so I don't take it for granted that it will actually just. I mean, 
you know yeah I, I, uh, let's uh, oh uh, i'm gonna get the the product sheet because if, if if i mean the the stage kicks in with the abl way too fast in my opinion and i play a lot louder than this uh, than than i do on the stage normally so if if i would just have the minimum minimal experience of the abl kicking in i would take the product and throw it out of the window because that is that's just not good enough in my opinion i would hate that i don't think that this product will do it but we need to test it funny and uh, and uh... I just pulled up the BSN stage product sheet and it doesn't mention anything about output other than watts and things, but not measured out. It says uh, maximal sound with one meter is 100 dB. Yeah, on the website, Base. but not on the product sheet. <laughs> no, no, no. Though a base ca uh, ca capability, 86 dB SPL to 94, that's a full... That's twice as much. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a lot, a lot louder. I mean, three dB is noticeably louder than something else. Yeah, but I don't mm -hmm. think the stage is very loud when you're talking to bass. It's very, very good in the normal range of listening to music and listening to TV. But I would never watch a movie on the stage. Like oh, in a bedroom, you would. Yeah, 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 but that's what I'm saying, Willie. That's it's why I have it in the bedroom. TV. I would never put it in the main room. Never. No. I have so, to plan to put that shit in the main room, but then again, like those are people that never really watch movies, or you know, it's just freaking business news on the TV. So stage is just yeah. good enough for that. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I mean, I mean, sixty bees is twice as much, but twice as much would not be anything near to put it in, in, in the main room, in my opinion. But it's compared... 90 Bs more. No, 60 Bs is, 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 uh, is uh, twice as much. Yeah, yeah, but the difference between the... Oh, yeah, 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 but I'm just saying that twice as much would not even cut it for me in, in the listening area where I watch movies. The thing I'm more worried about is that... Well, it may be, it may be worry is the wrong word. The... Thing I'm slightly more concerned about is that they'll have the bass profile of 28. Not that the 28 sound bad in bass, it just makes everything seem modern. Like yeah, but that's quite bass forward. Just start by turning off loudness and then you're, you're golden. Already did that and minus yeah. two on the bass. Uh, yep, me too. But the difference between 28 and 50s is the 50s are flat with whatever and uh, I think I said the other day, if you want, listen to like a Beatles song, uh, it sounds period correct on the 50s. On the 28s, it sounds like it was recorded in the last two years. Yep. That's, that's, that's true. Upscaling, bro. <laughs> it's, it's that 4K music now you get going on and shit with the Mozart. <laughs> but but the, other, the other problem is that the 50s will be able to manage all the bass in certain tracks where the 28 will just fall down and says, okay, I'm gone. Nope. Yep, exactly. Nope, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not where we're going today. <laughs> uh, by the way, if people want to learn more about uh, the, the, how, how the bass is handled in the theater with attached speakers, this is what Jeff wrote about it. And it's quite interesting because he goes over that... Uh, they know the phase uh, frequency max uh, uh, capabilities and uh, where the ABL kicks in of everything that's attached. And the way they have the, the room compensation set up is that each speaker will go to its max before anything detrimental happens and then any excess will get redirected to bigger speakers. So uh, when the like, something like the Harmony Eclipse or BV12, if you set the crossover point, like anything below 120 hertz will go to your most capable speakers, basically. Uh, here, it's much more advanced, as in like it to the lowest frequency your external uh, 17, let's say, is capable of, it'll play that. Any, any frequency below that will be directed to the uh, 50s, but also any... 
thing desired above, I think it's maximum of 88 dB SPL will yeah. then go to the 50s or that, anything more capable. That is uh, in the whole string of the the the, the theater, <coughs> the, the Atmos equivalent processor, and then the true image processor. That's what the true image processor does in, in this specific uh, product. I personally am quite interested in what this will do for BLAB5 owners that are willing to do this, because you're basically adding room compensation through the theater to the fives. Yep. That'd be well, interesting, man. I wonder how much would it change the speaker? Not the speaker sound, but how much would it change the room itself, right? Because it's treating it now. That'd be sweet. Well, this is the point Steve was making, wasn't he? He's was saying that once you put this in your setup, all your existing speakers will sound better than they did without the theater. Because they correct for the room now through it. Yeah. Or it's just, I guess it builds the filters based on how your acoustics in the room are. And then it just, it obviously it corrects builds for that. Filters and phase Six. and all kinds mm -hmm. of, it, it's what Odyssey have done. I mean, I, 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 I do have a pro Odyssey installer license, so I have done a lot of these things. So uh, I'm pretty used to this. It's just B&O that's been behind all these years. Yeah, it was B&O was never bad in any way. It was just not as current. Exactly. But they never were really. Like, how long did it take them to adopt a freaking Blu-ray or high or the before the you know the HD DVD whatever the were right? Well, Atmos took so, what eight years. <laughs> but that's just in their nature. Like, they don't hop on every fucking train that rolls down the the, the rails, right? Like, you know, something don't stick. You know. Yeah, first of all, the moving media they never stuck around. Internet. That's just. Something that will never happen. They will die in a few days. So we're not going to do any internet products. And then six years later, they started with the first internet product. It's it's just B and O. It's it's the same every time. Well, to be fair, there were uh, uh, Nobel I'm Prize biting. winning For economists sake, that no, literally said fair. the internet is going to go the way of the fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and they said this in like 2002 ish. Yeah, but you have to know you 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 should know of any anybody that I'm never fair. <laughs> oh, that's all right. There's a fairness in never being fair. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the one thing, so, one of, so one of the other things where, well, not we, me, and maybe if the old other person is still waiting for is. Confirmation that this has the um, matrix <coughs> matrix integration support that all the other BVs do, right? So we don't have confirmation of that yet. This, no. The assumption is it should, whether at launch or soon after. Uh, I thought that was a safe assumption. It was not something I was worried about because, you know, they put it into the Eclipse, they put it into the Harmony. Um, it's on the not... Mozart platform, so it will be available. I was told to look at this as basically a renamed uh, full-on TV experience. <clears throat> also, they have uh, uh, hospitality uh, I uh, ideas with it, where a bunch of them will be in the same room and everything will have to get uh, sound and images dispersed to it. So almost by that necessity of marketing it, it'll have to have it. So that was my assumption. It was more the comments that Christian made on Discord, which where he was not he was not saying anything. He was saying he says he doesn't know. He wasn't really part of those discussions, and um, and he's aware that fewer people use matrices these days. So he says so that raised a that raised a a doubt that turned into a sweaty panic. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> you are you talking about matrixes or or intelligence? Matrix. No, okay, then forget everything I just said because nope, that will never happen. I think. What <clears throat> matrix? Um, 
controllability from uh, from 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 this product. That would never happen. You don't think so? No, 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 never. Why? Not in Why? <clears throat> it will not happen. Why? Well, why? What's the reason? The fuck are you talking? Wait, why? About? Why won't it be able to control an HDMI matrix? What's like? I don't. Because I don't think that you can control it through HDMI CSC. But it has puck. It doesn't out, have right? puck. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it works by puck. It works by puck, right? Yeah. I. I, I really don't think that you will be able to because in the software for the the <clears throat> I just don't think that it, you will be able. To. I completely disagree with you on that. So with, I think that that's uh, going to be a must. Henry, um, my, uh, Willie, correct me if I'm wrong. But I've got the matrix here, right? With the mm -hmm. TVs that have got the matrix integration. So <clears throat> when I send, yes. when I send a control to the BV12, right, with this, it sends it via puck, via, um, down to the matrix, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, there is a puck, then, there, there is a puck port in, in the theatre. Two of them. Uh, yeah. Only one. Well, one plug, two puck, uh, so there is IR a puck. Two in, flashes. So they've introduced IR controllability to this, right? So where 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 does it say it has a puck in the spec sheet on the, and on the back panel? If you look at the back panel, like I sent you that close up of the photo of the um, back panel. Yep, I'll try and get it up. Let me see. So it's not the last of that. I mean, if it, if it does have the puck, I didn't know that it um, has a puck. If it does have a puck. You will be on the same software as uh, the Harmony. It will be the same software you put on the LG screen, I think. Or no, 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 it will not. It will it's be controlled by That's the right. app. Yeah, this is the thing. It's all all the <clears> settings <throat> for the theater will be done on the app, I think. Yeah. Then, 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 I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in the I don't know as well. And that's yep. a problem for me, right? Uh, I, 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 peripheral I, I, unit so... control. Integrate a peripheral unit setup box controller for two units, allowing you to control setup boxes with the Bang & Olufsen remote control. <clears throat> I really... Maybe they will just take all the puck tables and put it into the app. I doubt it, but maybe they will. Um... No, I think I, gonna, I think the, the puck the, control is going to be there for the matrix. There's no <clears> way <throat> you're you're. I think you're wrong, Henrik. There's no fucking way they wouldn't have matrix for this. Like this is going to last, set up that you will need that. The last puck they will ever put into this product would be the matrix, and that is because there are so limited users of the matrixes these days. Because now TVs is inexpensive, the set top boxes is inexpensive. The DVD, Blu-ray, or streaming players is unexpected, and everybody is just streaming from from the TV directly. So, Matrixes will be the last thing that they will ever think about in this product. I but guarantee. But surely, that. with trade shows and stuff, they will use matrices because they're not going to put yeah. USBs and stuff in everything they show off at trade shows. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I think they will be putting USBs into yeah. trade shows because they have done that for the past three, four years. They don't but, use matrices anymore. But trade shows is not the reason to put matrices in. No, no, no. <clears throat> that's a that's a that's a tertiary kind of use. But case. but they, they the last time they used matrices on the trade show was when they showed off the bio living uh, in, not intelligence but the bio living uh, what is it gateway gateway the bio living gateway where they showed off cameras uh, uh, garage doors and you could take one source that you were watching in the living room take it to the bedroom that was the last time they used matrixes on trade shows that's for trade shows but they did build in the matrix integration they ported it over from the bio system 4 platform to the whatever the lg integration right yeah with the eclipse and the harmony it works so my guess is that we're flying blind here a little bit my guess is Matrix integration will not be there at launch. I don't think so, no. And 
I'd say that for only two reasons. One, <clears throat> CK was raising a bit of a, mm, not sure, don't know, don't. He was raising a little bit of doubt, A. And B, they've, uh, there's only one puck caught in this thing, right? In the beer system four, there was a few. They, they've got, they've got <clears throat> a commitment to, the, to IR, right? Some commitment, but a reduced commitment. So from their point of view, I don't think they would have had Matrix integration on the roadmap for launch. So I don't think it's going to be there at launch. <clears throat> I don't think that it will ever be in the product, In if I have to be honest. Yeah, and that's a problem for me, right? Because then, How many peripheral units do you have? Me, four. Ah, damn it. Because if you only had two, it could potentially work and just use HDMI splitters. What? Yeah. what what's the issue? But, well, it's all in another room, right? Like... Uh, and, Oh yeah, but 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 you can get optical cable to HDMI. You have three to four, five HDMI ports in the TV by itself, and then you have how many? Two in 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 the theater. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, I don't want. I don't want all my. Source, I don't <clears throat> want all my sources in the lounge. So if you couldn't do the matrix, what you would you utilize for sources then? But but what what that. is what is your sources saying, Deep? Um, so there's four things in the four by four matrix, right? Yeah, and how many rooms do you have? And two rooms. And two rooms. Okay, so what do you have? So I've got my sky, sky uh, box. That's going to be a via play soon, anyway. So yeah, <laughs> what's the next? Oh, so, uh, so yeah, yeah, but we're not, we're not five, we're not in five years' time now. We're now, and for the next few years, I'll need a sky box. Sure. I've got my. That's the main one. The Apple TV, right? I, you can put that in. But the sky, the sky, you could do a one, two, split to two. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna... You Please. already, Sandy, listen. You already have the cables to the the room number one and room number two. You have two HDMI's to each room. No. So they... <clears throat> no. So out of the matrix, out of the matrix comes HDMI out to each of the rooms. Yep, that's what I'm I... saying. But it's not HDMI directly from the matrix to each TV, because there's the ballon, right? So it goes down a network cable. Yes, RJ45. And it's com yeah, it's converted to HDMI at the, yeah, at the other it's, end. It's, it's at low it's T-based. Yeah. Yep. Um, so what you do is that I'll get you some numbers, and uh, then you'll do the Skybox to a HDMI in split to two, T-based to your TVs in every room. You'll get an Apple TV in each room, and then you'll buy another PS5. You're done. Don't spend on it. Yeah, a lot of the issues, a lot of cabling is done and under the floor, right? Yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll work it out. What was, what was the fourth source? The DVD so player. Oh, DVD player. Blu-ray PSP, Blu-ray PSP, a PS5, a <clears throat> Skybox, and Apple TV, right? Yeah, and I mean, the Blu-ray player you don't need in the bedroom. No, I can live without that. I yeah. can live without that, right? Yeah. You, 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 you can buy, you have the money to buy an Apple TV. This, this, is, the age of, this is the age of austerity. Right? <laughs> We're all poor or, now. <laughs> or if, I'm, I'm, now I'm just curious, what do you use your Apple TV for? You don't really need it with all the built-in apps. Well... Bear in mind, neither my BB12 and my Vance are not smart, right? Exactly. So, so you you maybe you just take your Apple TV and put it in the bedroom because in your di in your living room you're gonna have the theater with the new panels and everything is in bu built in. Yeah, the main issue the main issue is the sky skybox, but it is. Let me, do not underestimate. It's nice not having a PS5 in a lounge, right? Yeah. Or the bedroom, and <clears throat> having that through the matrix, I can just take this and go to any room and just play right through the matrix that's bloody nice right yep mm -hmm. um so anyway enough, is there enough, a sky enough. app for apple tv two people have asked now in or insinuated there potentially is yes no, there is there's no not in the uk oh you can't, you can't watch live sky tv Wait, so sky is a british company isn't it or is it from somewhere yeah, else. I don't. Wanna, I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole, but um, I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole. But there is. 
um, there's no, <clears throat> there isn't a Sky app on the to watch live TV on. They sell you a box, right? They don't yeah. have. They've got catch up stuff that you can do via apps. Sandy, after after this podcast, I'll give you a number and a guy that you can talk to, and uh, just say hello for me. Then he will figure everything out for you. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure my my installer is pretty good. He'll he'll know, but we'll anyway. We'll but your installer will probably know this guy as well because he bought everything from him. Oh right, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> we fixed it. Okay, to change the topic for a second here, I got a question for you, Henrik. So yep. what what you send me in the screenshot that you send me? So on the bottom there it says engine.fire and it's your name, contour and hell remote. So do I have to change that in a Lua? And for what? Uh, I just need to log in. Hang on. This I'm is some automation digging. for everybody listening, by the way. Or, or, yeah, or maybe we is... should take it after. Okay, yeah, let's do it after, because I do want to find out how, like, I want to get the fucking clock on the halo. It's going to be cool. I mean, if, if if Mikey shares the picture, nobody would know what's going on, I think. <laughs> but but maybe, I don't know. Uh, I can if you want me to. Uh... It's just bare living intelligence stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> yeah, we don't we don't look at sexy ladies here and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures are nerdy. But I can I of course I can go through it if if you want me to. Yes, I do want to go through it because I'm going to be doing it on Wednesday because now it's a long weekend, so I'm going to have to sit here and Matthew said, I want a clock wait. on my Halo. That should be a built-in functionality. I agree. It should be. Okay, so this is how you get a clock on your Halo. So this is uh, one of my Halos, the ones that doesn't rattle. Mm -hmm. uh, all the others. Oh, I actually just have to tell you, you guys this. Uh, I sent all the halos back to the dealer. The dealer got back to me after he talked with BNO, and BNO said that it was within the, the tolerances of rattling of the product. And I was just like, okay, keep your fucking shit. So I'm um, apparently, I'm, I don't really know if I'm going to stick with this stuff anymore or if I'm going in another direction, but I will keep you posted on that and uh, then you can have my YouTube channel. But let's get back to uh, <laughs> to 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 the to the to the code. Uh, this is uh, how to get a clock into your beer remote halo. So you know you need to do a main. You know you have the main system clock mm -hmm. of of the system. Then you need to to make a button on your beer remote halo, and you need to the button you need to to copy from from your your. Uh, be remote halo so so uh, the button that you have on the button pressed button yeah yeah, yeah that that's your be remote halo right is it a virtual button uh it is a virtual button yes okay so what you need to do is that uh number you have besides the button uh you need mm -hmm. to copy that and then you need to copy everything from the post and then you need to engine fire your your gateway name, your room, your beer remote halo, and then the halo, and then send text to the button. And you need to uh, copy paste the the long number besides it says button equivalent to or equal to uh, four nine seven F six E C A blah 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 blah. That is different on every halo remote. Scroll down on the bottom, Mike, because that's on the bottom of the screen now. What he's talking about. Yes. On the picture. Get it. Do it. There. Okay. So the engine fire. Then I have to do like. And if you convert this back to table, how does what the, what the fuck does that look like? Uh, if I convert it to table, uh, uh, not really sure. Okay, so you just have it in that. So, so, so what happens is that I've made this my main uh, on on my beer remote halo. So every time it turns on, this is what it shows, and then it shows a, a, a ring, uh, and then the the clock. But then I've done mm -hmm. another one, and I can send you that uh, behind the the scenes as well. 
and that is that it's now also controlling, uh, example, the one I had in here had the clock in the middle, but then when you uh, when you turn the volume knob, it didn't do anything because it was, of course, a clock, you know? Mm -hmm. So I made so turning up the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it was like a time machine. I was just like, oh, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm done with the day. No, uh, so I actually made uh, the clock being the volume of the shape. Mm. Which was a bit of a hackle, but I got it to work at the end. Why were you pain in the penis? Yep, it, 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 it took a long time. Okay, so then engine fired. So Baron Vader, that's your zone. Uh, my zone is. Uh, hang on, because then contour is the product, right, or resource. My zone is E N T R E. No, uh, contour. Yeah, that that is office in Danish. Hmm. And then. Okay, give it a shot on Wednesday. You yeah, it's it, it, it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. And it took me a few hours. Oh, I bet. But 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 when when the the ones the the one that I really had a problem with was um, the long string of the of the button because every button you make a new button, then the button gets a new number. So mm -hmm. I I got out of that zone, and but then I went back to it and I copied it and I put it in and then everything worked. Mm. So when are you nice. getting a, a place to, to actually live and apply this, Willie? I got a showing at six o'clock today. Sweet. And I think I'm going to take it because it's I got fully a question too. from the Twitch side. Uh, do you have any uh, weird uh -huh. Quebecois story yet? No, but I just don't understand a fucking thing people are saying everything's in french so like i don't speak a word like omelette du fromage bro or that's all you get from me <laughs> and lately i picked up au revoir and bonjour so that's about it and what's the next thing that people learn uh, voulez-vous cou coucher avec moi ce soir uh, probably you know what that means <laughs> but uh, no probably not <laughs> i don't know what anything means bro i don't speak this language one bit okay. one bit voulez-vous coucher avec nous ce soir <laughs> that's a better so, time <laughs> but yeah i don't uh yeah i don't yeah it's it's a, it's a fucking completely alien world roads are absolutely atrocious here by the way roads are absolutely they're like i shocked how bad they missed switzerland and also the the, the well stuff. getting here was was a pain in the ass because driving through ontario and they have a 90 kilometer an hour speed limit and it's a it's a one lane both one lane both ways highway. So yeah, Ontario took me an entire day to drive through. Yeah, we were looking like, it up on. Uh, I I forget when it was it a Monday and Ontario is something like three and a half times larger than the Netherlands is, or four yeah. times larger than the Netherlands is, and it's like wow. You can't go other less than you can't go more than ninety kilometers. So or because I didn't want to get a ticket. And there was a lot of cops. Like I've counted in Ontario the most. Like, fuck, I drove to Florida and back, and I would count altogether about maybe twelve cop cars in the entire ten thousand kilometer trip on the highway. In Ontario, it was twenty five of them just within the first day. They knew you. Like, they knew like, you were coming. That's why. Yeah, I'm like the fucking police state or some shit here. Goddamn, like it's <laughs> yeah. So then I get here, yeah, it's uh... a... <laughs> you speed and they turn the light go on and it goes, baguette, baguette, baguette. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was, uh, it's definitely an experience. Well, I saw that rear ender accident on the podcast when I was driving on the highway back home from rear the shop. Rear ender accident. Oh, God, he fucking <laughs> took out two cars in front of him. It was great. But uh, that's what happens when you stare in your lap and drive. Uh, question yeah, from that food is awesome. Yeah, it's French. It's good. Mm -hmm. A question from Matthew. Uh, he says he's daydreaming of replacing his 17s for an average size US bedroom. It's about 12 foot uh, by 12 foot, uh, 14 ish foot by 14 foot with some 20s. 
Uh, overkill and stupid for a small room. He loves his 17s, but he also apparently likes 20s. What do you guys think? Buy a 19. And get don't 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 even go through with the twenties. <laughs> I hate twenties. They them. suck. Don't do it. I, I think Henrik know. is right. <laughs> no, no, no. Henrik is always right. <laughs> I don't agree. With I that. don't know. I would put a I would put a nineteen on him too. It would save my money. I'm not the biggest fan of the twenties as well. So the the nineteens just... with the seventeens is a much better product than two twenties. It's yeah, much in there. The twenties have good tweeters and a good base, and the mid range is kind of. Uh, the seventeens do mid range a lot better. The tweeters are as good, a bit more directional because they don't have I a lens. But with the nineteen, you get similar base, and uh, it's easier to tune uh, the nineteen. It's better. It's be it's easier to get a good final product out of the seventeens with the nineteen than with two twenties. So, I mean, Overkill and Stupid. I don't want to hear that again. We are the channel of Overkill and Stupid. <laughs> That's right. We don't. I have 90s in the same room that you've described in size. But that's not more. stupid. Like, well, four feet more. So, like, but fucking, that's not come stupid. on. I, I, would, I would always, if, if, if Matthew said, I had 17s today and I was thinking about buying 50s, I would say, go for the 50s, but don't go for the 20s. <laughs> Go for 28. Yeah, that we are overkill central. I'm, I'm going to put a theater in my bedroom. God's sake. Yeah, you should really make that deal, though, with your dealer beforehand, because that'll push the price a bit down, hopefully, if you say, hey, can I have two? I'm going to ask the question. Two 19s? No, two, no, two, two theaters. Two theaters, right? Oh. Because I want to upgrade both rooms. Get rid of the event, get rid of the 1265. Theatre, theatre. Nice setup. And maybe, and I, I don't want them to do the classic BO speaker set two times, two times the price of a theatre. Yeah. God, that's some <laughs> bullshit. They started that again. Those deals are, are gone again. Like now, if you, you can buy a level or you can buy two of them. And it costs I mean, twice as much. It's like, why? <laughs> There's no deal for and Don't underestimate the fact that they've saved you adding two numbers. Thank you for that. That's right. Yeah, we also, you also save them uh, for, for shipping costs. So, yeah, yeah I will they ask... Tape them to... I am going to ask the question um, to two theatres. What are you going to do me? What's the best? <laughs> See, see what they say, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Matthew says, uh, adds on, uh, for adding a 19, I don't love having separate subwoofer. I think you're overthinking it because it sounds as one. Uh, plus, base management is handled by transmitter one. I prefer wired. It's fine with WISA with, with these types of speakers. That's It's totally fine. It's not an issue. Plus, a transmitter one is basically made for a 2.1 system anyway. Mm -hmm. With the 19 specifically in mind. Somebody just Jesus. fucking straight piped it. <laughs> Had a bad kebab last night. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know, like, if I were to do it, like, would you do, like, if I were to, you know, obviously money talks and bullshit walks, I would get the 20s before I would get the 28s. Really? I wouldn't. In a bedroom? Yeah, who cares? Fucking, you, like, you're listening to it with one ear anyways, because the other one's buried in a pillow, so who cares? Wait, you never lie like that, you always... <laughs> No, I don't sleep like fucking Dracula and shit. And, and, yeah. like, I look like I'm Romanian or something. So I can sit there, yeah, like you know. <laughs> don't, I would, don't, I would don't definitely fucking go for a lab nineteen. Go One day I'm going to come through your house, like why is that hook in the middle of the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> never, never go lab twenty. You would hate it. It's also a, the speaker's too low. Yep. Like if you, if you live in North America, most likely your bed is like three foot off the ground. That's right. <laughs> so the tweeter is like lower than your mattress. <laughs> <is>. <laughs> They're at the 
mattress level. <laughs> Matthew, what are you doing under the bed? Oh, I'm listening to music today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I would one of the if, craziest if, things in North America, besides the TVs above fireplaces, is how tall beds are. Like yeah. people literally have step stools to get into bed. I would, I would, if 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 you have the wallet to do it, go twenty eight. If you don't, and you you think about the twenties is cheap at the moment, get a nineteen. You you would not regret it at at all at all. It 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 would sound amazing. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is maybe more a question for you, Henrik, since you're uh, supposedly always right. Uh, what do you think of DTS uh, no longer being supported supposedly in the sound uh, in the theater? Uh, I, I, I'm, um, if I have a lot of legacy Blu-rays and DVDs, I would hate it, uh, because DTS, in my opinion, sounded better all the way up to Dolby Digital True HD. I do still think that DTS HD 7.1 sounds better than True HD 7.1, but it's really marginal. Um, after that, the DTS X, which is equivalent to Dolby Atmos, Dolby Atmos was better in my opinion. The Aura 3D was not even close to DTS X, so. They went the right way. You have to pay for 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 the codec. Um, as you can see on on Apple TVs, and you can see on all the UHDs today, uh, Dolby Atmos won everything. It was like back in the VHS, or no, back in the Betamax, or was it yeah. Blu-ray Blu Blu-ray versus HD uh, DVD? What HD DVD? HD DVD, yeah. the red ones. Uh, it was like, what did the porn industry choose? Um, that was Betamax and VHS, right? Yeah, it was the same. And it was the same with the HD DVD versus Blu rays. Object based porn. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this uh, DVD in 30 seconds and I'll guarantee that you'll come. Um, yes, I think that it was the right way to go. Um, I hate that they don't have DTS HD. But I can I can take all my containers of DTS HC and move it into Dolby True HC. It's not really a big deal for me because I will well I won't move them into another container because uh, in in my house I only have the Harmony and the Contour. So I will no matter what I play I will convert everything to linear PCM uh, uncompressed. Yeah, because so, the Contour also doesn't do DTS. Yes, I mean, everything I play, no matter what, will be uncompressed LPCM at my house because yeah. that's the setup I've, I've made. Um, so I don't really care, uh, but there is something inside of me that hate that they don't have DTS anymore, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you find a streaming service today. That it's will, Dolby uh, Digital Plus, yeah. That, that, that will give you uh, DTS. The, the lowest part that you will get is Dolby Digital Plus, which is 768 kilobit per second. And then the next will be yeah, Dolby True HD. I mean, it's the right way. As in a professional, since you are sort of in the streaming business, how long do you think we're away from like, a general service would stream anything approximating true HD, like all oh, to 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 the full spec. Yeah, even half spec, but long way. I mean, this is going to be years, isn't it? Yeah, long way. And that's because of a bandwidth issue, right? Yeah, there are so many countries that, I mean, I I don't know, uh, Saint Eve, what kind of internet do you have in UK where you live? Well, most people in the UK will have like um, pretty crappy over the over the old British telecom copper yeah, wire. 50 down, so, 15 up, maybe. Well, maybe. it's seven, 
and they advertise so it's 76 down right um is the fastest they can go uh if you live in cities you can get close close to full fiber so i use close to full fiber so i'm 350 down right okay so where what if you live in the country exactly yeah i'm gonna agree with you um, yeah. and even in the city even in the cities where it may be similar in the u.s right full fiber is expensive i mean i i think i think we do our uhc channel is 24 megabits right now which is very very high compared to our competitors um but i mean it's i have a thousand a thousand here and then i have a thousand a thousand that's interconnected so i have two gigabit up and down here but i mean it's a yeah, lot of there's lots of countries right yeah Not, i mean if you live in south korea or one of these emerging countries where they've they've just laid fucking, the baltics yeah but there's many countries like we're one of the worst in europe but even yeah yeah my but, grandparents but, but, house in essex is like up to 20 down and like five up which effectively exactly. is maximally twelve down I mean, and one up. What? Yeah. I mean, our our, our oh. biggest issue is that uh, we went into the Baltics market and we went into Poland as well, and uh, their internet connectivity is is kind of the same, twenty down, two up, uh, at most. Uh, we do have servers that will say that when we do 1080i, 1080p, full HD, whatever, it will be in. 12 14 megabits and then we'll do three streams that will be 14 that will be 10 and 7 and then we'll stream everything so it will take the best connectivity that it will get so it'll say okay i can't do 10 i can do 7 i'll take the 7 so it will be worse or it will go down to then we we'll do another stream in 720p and then we do uh, less conversion down there and i mean we we there will go a long time where we will do a f just think about it i mean at my home network when i do a, a full uhd movie here it's 56 yeah i was gonna say 40 plus gigs of data uh, i think one of one i i can actually i can uh, filter it in 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 the best quality i think um it's a lot of data that most people have no clue that that much goes over your line it is and it's just it's 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 a lot like a lot um yeah stop it sandy <laughs> Yeah. Uh, generic enthusiast says, "Did you see Sony has uh, enabled 80 Mbit streams on their platform?" No, but interesting. I guess somebody has to start off, and I guess the Japanese are the way to get, do that. I mean, I think they have yeah. one or two 8K uh, channels in Japan. Just, just yeah, they have one, and they did it for you. Uh, they do do it for oh, live sports. Yeah, uh, but just to end this thing off. Uh, the last Back to the Future package that came up that was a, 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 a new version that they did everything with colors and whatever, they resized everything. Uh, one, two, and three is about, uh, number three is 82.7 megabits a second. Number one is 83.2 megabits a second. Number two is 89.7 megabits a second. So think about if you have a hundred and hundred and you want to watch this, you need very steady internet connection. And then imagine if, if, if your, your wife, spouse or daughter goes on FaceTime. It's if, like if get your wife the goes line. on TikTok, <laughs> if your wife goes on TikTok on Instagram or whatever, then your connectivity drops. So it 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 I mean, we're a long, long way from that. I I do think that uh, what we have seen with the H.264, which is Blu-ray, and H.265, which is UHD, the new compression on UHD will, I, I think that we should look into compression more than megabits a second, because I think that we will be better and better in compressing audio and video, 
into what we see today as 100 megabits a second would maybe be 50 megabits a second in three years, and then it's possible. Yeah, that would be sweet. Uh, the last poll closed. I asked, uh, what do you guys think about the theater price? 38% said it's high but acceptable. 32% said it's a little high. 19% uh, said it's competitive, and only 9% said it's too much. Which is surprising because the amount of people that thought it was going to be in the three and a half to four and a half grand range a few weeks ago. Mm. I didn't see it being three and a half to four and a half grand. I, none I of us did, but a lot of people were hoping for it. But that must mean that the product as presented is a lot more than expected. Exactly. Yeah. Which, so they sort of over exceeded expectations, which makes the price sort of. Uh, acceptable and that's yeah but also i think a lot of people were using a, a reference point of a stage as well you know for another soundbar type of thing and so those poll results are interesting even with the sennheiser styling <laughs> I, if you look at this gold thing that's up on tv like in no way is that sennheiser looking that's no the, that's b and o that's the eric custom edition <laughs> That's right, stupid gold. If you're oh, still listening, God. Eric, hello. That's the Dubai edition. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the gold, but you know what? To each their own, right? Yeah, it's it's not my favorite either. But on this, this is the first product where I think it actually isn't that bad, and I still don't like it. I mean, on the 28s, mm -hmm. to me, it looks kind of awful. Yeah, but imagine that on a gold, gold theater stand, floor stand. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's a bit too. Much. I mean, if 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 you have the house for it, I mean, I I I hate that I haven't gone gold on everything in my house, but I don't I don't have the balls to do it. I mean, mm -hmm. but it That's would Asian look so good up. every time I come out to people and I see that they have this gold edition fifties and televisions, whatever and gold sinks and gold on everything i mean it it looks freaking amazing but once i, I live in live. florida I'll, I'll drive you to mar a lago <laughs> we can hang out there <laughs> it's just not gold in there well it's but I, Trump, I, I, everything's I do appreciate gold. it when i see it okay that's funny so, yeah buddy I mean, this, so it, didn't didn't Love make a TV that looked like this? Uh, no. Yes, they did. They had one that the speaker would come from underneath it. That's what that probably. Yeah, yeah but it looks exactly yeah, the, like the, the, build the round seven. thing in the middle. It doesn't look it doesn't look like this though. Okay. No, you're, I mean, you're just looking at it because that 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 crazy center tweeter, whatever the heck it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a that tweeter thing, with right? a five and a half inch driver. A coaxial speaker that is custom made, which is for mid range. It's it's a very interesting. If people want to just read the press release, uh, because apparently it's close enough to the intelligibility and the flatness of the fifties. That was their goal to match for mm. like voices and things. Sure. So, but it does look kind of like a low TV. Uh. I'll pop it up because you asked so nicely. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> You're right, Henrik. Thank you. But then again, oh, most lower about? TVs uh, look like B&O TVs from back in the day. Oh, I was, I was, I thought you was going to say, but everything you say is correct, Henrik. <laughs> that's that's a point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And next week I'll kiss your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Come into the city center, I'll be there. Uh, I'll bring some wipes. <laughs> Did you get a ticket with Eric? Yeah. Was it the speeding ticket and they black they blocked his fucking face off. That's no, funny. no, no. He he was not in the car. He was at the at the hotel, and uh, the problem is that this was on the way home, and uh, Heidi met up with us at the hotel she came on bike and i was in the car and then i had hamilton in the car and we drove home and heidi was on the bike 
So we got a ticket on the way back, Hamilton and I. Uh, we were doing some uh, some city racing with the 911. And as you saw in the picture, there were no 911. So I, I won. But I also won a ticket. <laughs> which kind of sucked. And, and uh, you get like these things on, on your card thing. Yay. Oh, the demerits. Yeah. Well, we yeah. don't have those here, so I'll have to adjust to that. <laughs> yeah. So it was uh, after I met up with Eric and his wife and Alphonse on uh, Tiuli Hotel, then uh, we drove back. And it's the same place. I know there is a traffic cam all the time, but I came in another direction and I got confused. And then I saw the 911 and he was revving it. And I was just like, I'm going to kill you. And uh, then I just <laughs> drove off. And uh, yeah. I, uh, I I got us. The rest is history. <laughs> yeah, the rest is history. This was I, your... I paid it off. Uh, I'm done. Uh, so yeah. This was in your Panamera, right? Yeah. Three thousand six hundred Danish kroner. Oh, that's not very little either. Nope. <laughs> How much is it, it in US? It was an expensive trip visiting. Three hundred bucks. Fuck me. No, no, no. That's more than three hundred bucks. Four hundred. Close to four hundred. No, 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 no. How much is the dollar? Uh, yeah, it's, US. it's stronger parity. than the euro at the moment. It's effectively parity, right? Yeah. It, in, in euros, it's uh, 480 euros. Oh, shit, bro. Like, that's a kick in the pills, bro. So how much over, how much <laughs> over, the, speed, how much over the speed limit were you doing? 20 something. <laughs> <laughs> 20, some, 20 something it was in the 50 zone <laughs> oh fuck. which is 30 mile an hour zone you go like 50 mile an hour over that's expensive that's expensive it's way it's about 100 pounds here right? it's Wait eric's fault fuck up in england <laughs> yeah. it's definitely eric's fault <laughs> always blame the swedes <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I'm going to call it. Uh, blame your local Swede. Uh, I challenge you. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, thank you for all the super chats, Matthew and Said, uh, if I'm saying that right. Uh, hope you all have a, a good week. Uh, we'll see what we do tomorrow. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. And uh, have a good one and go to your local dealer Au with your questions. <laughs> Omelette au fromage! <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir, everybody. Au revoir. Bye.